John Howe, who's actually the uh, artistic, um, he's in the artistic department doing a lot of the um, you know, design elements for Reclaiming the Blade and, uh, not Reclaiming the Blade, but Lord of the Rings and mm -hmm. uh, Chronicles of Narnia. Which so, does, they did, those films do look epic, don't get me wrong, and they can't be possible, you know, in the times that we are, but... I mean, I don't know. There's just so something about two people in the sword. I mean, one of those scenes that you show in the trailer is just Darth Vader and, you know, Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker fighting, and it doesn't get much more epic than that in my right. my eyes. And then for you to have the actual, you know, actually Darth Vader there sitting and talk to you, that must be kind of a trip, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it was great. To, you know, I, I, I think of um, Bob Anderson, who's the, the gentleman that did all the uh, fight choreography in the film. I think of him as, as a friend, you know, and, and somebody that... that um, was very interested in what we were doing and, and, and um, welcomed us to his home to interview him. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I mean, what's exciting about these films is that they, they have such a reflection of what we want or what we feel that we desire as a society. I mean, when you look at films like Star Wars and the Rebel Army versus the Empire and the Order 66, you know, which was mm -hmm. to destroy all of the rebels, and you look at films like The Lord of the Rings where you look at the Fellowship versus which the Fellowship represented basically the free people of Middle-earth. Who were the free people of Middle-earth? I mean, they were basically those that were striving for, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, just, uh, they were constitutionalists, basically. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and so um, you have this, you have this uh, epic battle going on. And then Robin Hood, you look at Robin Hood, you look at, you know, King John and, and uh, you know, Richard Lionheart, who was called to the... Um, you know, the wars that were going on, uh, you know, in the Middle East, and, and, and Robin Hood was this this, um, this this just rebel that was fighting for goodness. Um, you see it in all of these movies. I mean, whether it's 300 or um, the Pirates of the Caribbean or Gladiator, I mean, it's just time and time again you see the same story uh, being reflected. I think it's it, it, it speaks to, essentially, they're trying to sell movie tickets, and mm -hmm. they're trying to appeal to our common um, desires, and our common desire is to live free, you know? It I mean, absolutely I mean, is. I think of people like Jay, uh, like you, you know, Jason Burmis and Alex Jones is like the real Luke Skywalkers of our age. <laughs> really. I honestly say that with, well, all, with all my heart. Well, that's very nice of you, man. I mean, that, you know, I wish there were more Luke Skywalkers. I wish we had real people. But you know what? Even when we have real people, they just leech onto them anyway. Like these city year commercials I have to see where they're promoting the I Am Change Obama logo while they show you pictures mm -hmm. of Gandhi and Martin Luther King Jr. Yeah. And, you know, John F. Kennedy. People that... Mother Teresa, people that were genuinely good people. I mean, John Kennedy, iffy, but it looks like he was standing up for the people at the end and they had to blow his brains out. But just that they use these guys that have been, I, I guess, propped up in society and then to jump on that, to piggyback on that and sure. promote an Obama, Obama agenda. Yeah. Oh, man. It, but it, what does it mean oh. to us as, as a society today that... Um you know, we can clearly see that, that people are drawn and they have this innate uh, responsibility or draw, whatever you want to call it, to um, to live free, you know? I mean, it's something, it, it's just something, it's, it's something that's within all of us, you know? Well, it needs and, to be in all of us, I think, you know? I, hopefully absolutely. it is. I, I hopefully more people will step up to the plate and say that, you know, I do want to be a free human being, but... I think we've been so dumbed down. I don't want to get too depressing, but it, it's nice to look out back on the good times when people did stand well, up for themselves. On that subject, uh, you know, yeah. before the next bumper comes up, I have to say, um, mm -hmm. I've read the end of the book, and we will win. And there's no question about it. Hands down, it's the bottom line. We're, we're going to win this, period. Well, I'm not in it to lose it. I'll tell you that. I no. am in it to win it. And no. I, I because look at Star Wars. It was, it, 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 look, how did Star Wars end? It ended well. How did Lord of the Rings end? It ended well. In Real the darkest life times, well too. too. I hope so. Because it, it does, my friend. Trust me. Well, maybe it is darkest before the dawn. We'll be back after this. Reclaimingtheblade.com. Go check it out right now. I'm the Info Warrior. Mom told me she could do better than a criminal 17 year old psychotic trying to be lyrical I never meant to break the heart of a couple life But I was careless instead of treating her right I seen her again at some club strip and it wasn't if I could have made a All life Alright, we are back with Daniel McNichol The writer and director of Reclaiming the Blade Go to ReclaimingTheBlade.com right now You can get the pre-order, check out the trailer for the film 
Now you've got other projects in the work you were just talking about with with Lucas Films, and uh, I forget what the second one was. Well, the Lucas Film project is is actually <clears throat> something I'm developing with New York Jedi, and that's an org- organization in, in New York City. Uh, mm-hmm. One of the uh, main persons behind that is is uh, uh, Flynn, who is in Brooklyn. Uh, you, you're from up north, I think, yes. from New York. Yes. Well, I'm from York. Philly, so oh, excellent! I you know, we got to give a shout out. We got we to give a while. shout out to the uh, to the eastern, uh, you know, eastern front. I miss it. It's a little hot in Texas. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about that before I came on. I was like, you know, this guy is he's, he's New York. You know, he's got to yeah. be sweating down there in Texas. Oh, you good. know what's funny is I actually grew up in Texas. Did you really? Yeah, I did. What I was part? born in Houston, and my father got his graduate um, uh, master's or doctorate degree, whatever. And uh, in, in Philadelphia, it's a cool place out here. You know, I, I lived uh, right outside of Philly and Jersey for a while in Collingswood, New Jersey, and I I love Philadelphia, man. The, the cheese steaks there. For people who have never been to Philadelphia, and never like had Geno's, I feel bad place. for you. Oh my God, it's a great place. <laughs> South Street, let's go. Oh and I've God. I've not <laughs> been to to Texas in a while, so I can't speak with any authority. The last time I was in Texas, I think it was maybe ten years old. So oh wow. So now, I you really come want back. to come Austin's, back. Yeah, Austin's a fun town. I'd it's love like a to come rock visit town. Austin. Oh, Am man, I welcome? Austin's very cool. Yeah, come Can out I come Austin, visit? man. Come visit Austin. Right. Man. We'll go out on a weekend. It'll be fun. Absolutely. Because weekdays, fun. my life is over. And not that I'm not here on weekends. Like, I, I am here on weekends, too, but at least I'm not doing, you know, three hours I would of love radio. to come down there. They have South by Southwest and just uh, just a great, it seems like such an awesome place to hang out. It is, it is a very, very, very cool place. But let's talk about the Lucasfilm project. Sure. You, you said it's going to be like a Jedi training video? Yeah. Well, right now, it, 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 technically, I must say, to, to um, it, it really, we, we at this point, yeah, we're just we're, we're talking to them, talking to them about it. So it's not um, anything that's official at this point. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is official is the KC fighting method that we're doing with um, the Batman Begins and Dark Knight people with Christian Bale and Heath Ledger. Well, you know, uh, you know well, God rest his soul. Be, yeah. uh, but the guys who trained them on those movies and and Mission Impossible, Tom Cruise and all those guys, Christian Nolan, who's the director of uh, Batman Begins and Dark Knight. Mm-hmm. Um, essentially, the guys who developed the fight choreography for those movies um, are friends of mine. We're actually doing a movie on that. So so that's very exciting. Um, the, the Lucasfilm lightsaber thing is, is something we're definitely going to do, um, but uh, I can't talk a whole lot about it right now because <laughs> I got, it's, it's kind of still under development, if you know what I mean. I got you. How's the, how's the PR been for this? Because I, I know how it is putting out a movie. You do a bunch of these different interviews. You have to send out press packets. I mean, how receptive have been have people been seeing what you've given them? Mm-hmm. Well, the response to reclaiming the blade has been um, really a shocker to me. I was concerned that it would be too. Uh, I, I felt I put too much of my heart on my sleeve, if you know what I mean. You know, mm-hmm. I think there's some there's some there's some uh, the dialogue in there. You know, I wrote uh, the the dialogue that John Rhys Davies, um, who was the narrator of the film. Um, that he narrated, and, mm-hmm. and there were parts of it that I thought would be unwelcome, you know. But mm-hmm. uh, as it turns out, people are loving it, you know. I mean, they love freedom, they love a story that is about freedom, and and that's what Reclaiming the Blade's all about. Yeah, it is that kind of David versus Goliath story when you decide to stand up for yourself, even though you know there's a difficult path ahead. And just to go forward, you know, not knowing the future, but hoping for the best, and, and really, again, not just hoping for the best, but trying to make the best possible. Mm-hmm. So everybody loves those kind of inspirational stories. I know sure. I have. I'm a big Rocky fan. And you know, I gotta, I gotta tell you. I mean, I hate to interrupt, but I mean, I think, I think life will imitate art because ultimately, art is imitating life. Uh, we will win. I mean, hands down, no questions asked. Uh, we will win. And um, this how much is, darker do you think it has to get before we win, though? I know it's supposed to be darkness sure. before the dawn, but how yeah. how much darker could and it the, possibly get? Well, what you have to ask yourself is not how much darker, but why is it getting darker? The question, the answer to that question is, you know, men need to be tested, and the only way to test the the purity of men is the same way you test the purity of metals as a sword. You have to test it by fire, and the only way you can test a pure metal to make sure it's strong enough to go into battle is to, um, you know, purify it through fire. And that's what a, a bladesmith is all about. And that's that's what's, what's neat about the analogy of sword making. And um, ultimately, we are crafting a great blade. God is crafting a great blade. And that blade 
will conquer the enemy. Well, hopefully no we'll doubt. be able to slay the serpent with this great blade. We Daniel will. McNichol, all right, my man. I, I, I like the enthusiasm. ReclaimingTheBlade.com, thank you so much. We'll be back after this. Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.tv. Do you understand how dark it is? How far down the line we are? How late it is? 